Hi, this is Chanel from App Themes, and in this tutorial, I'll go over the basic settings for ClassyPress. ClassyPress is the number one classifieds ad theme that has been built for ease of use. With location search options, a featured listing slider, ad category menus, a latest listings grid, and the ability to post to a blog makes ClassyPress an all-inclusive classified site that is also user-friendly. I have arrived in my WordPress dashboard where I've installed and activated ClassyPress. After installing and activating this app theme, I noticed three menus, one titled ClassyPress, one titled Payments and one titled Ads. In this tutorial, I'll cover each of these menus, although first we'll customise our site to make it our own. From our WordPress dashboard, we'll need to go to Appearance, and then to customize. This will bring us to our customizer. Using the customizer, one can edit and create a site that represents any company. I'll briefly show you how you can change the appearance of your ClassyPress site now, although for detailed instructions on customizing, visit the basic appearance customization and widget configuration for ClassyPress documentation pages. Once ClassyPress has been installed and activated, the active theme of your site should read ClassyPress. Each menu below then allows you to customise different aspects of your site. For example, clicking on Site Identity brings you to a page where you can customise the logo, site title, tagline, footer copyright and site icon. These will then respectively show here for the logo, the name, tagline and if I go right to the bottom, the footer copyright. So if I head back, you can also edit the colour of your site from the customizer. So clicking on colours, you'll be able to pick a colour scheme or you can create your own colour scheme by using the background colour, header background, header text and footer background colour. To just show you, it's the red colour scheme at the moment. If I was to change that to blue, it changes the overall look of the site. The next menu allows you to edit the background image. So then if you put a background image, it'll simply show where these grey areas are. The layout, menus, widgets, homepage settings can all be configured, although most users won't need to. I've returned to my WordPress dashboard now that the appearance of my site meets its intent. Next, I'll configure the basic settings needed to get a ClassyPress site up and going. Before we configure our ClassyPress settings, if you wish for anyone to register and be able to post an ad to your ClassyPress site, You'll need to head to your settings, general, and then tick the box next to membership. So once you've completed that, we'll go to ClassyPress and we'll be taking a look at the settings menu and the emails menu. In another tutorial, we'll take a look at pricing and payments, followed by creating an ad as admin and as a customer. So ClassyPress settings, I'm clicking on that and you'll see eight categories listed here. In this tutorial, I'll be focusing on the first three tabs here of the ClassyPress settings, although you can find lots of documentation on the other tabs within our app theme site. In the general tab is where you can ensure your Google Maps have been set up correctly and edit messages produced by this app theme. The categories tab allows you to configure how many ads deep you'd like your category menu, your categories page and your search categories. The listings tab is where you can specify universal listing terms and control how ads are handled. This tab is split into four sections. In the general sections, you may wish to enable the editing and relisting checkboxes. Enabling the editing checkbox allows users to edit and republish ads from their account. In the listing period is where you should state the universal period that ads can be listed for. The next section is ads page. You may wish to mark the view counter checkbox to show a total view count on ads. Ticking the gravatar box includes a gravatar image of posters. The moderate section is where you'll control how ads are handled. Marking the ads checkbox ensures that you have to, as admin, manually approve and publish each new ad. Furthermore, you may wish to mark the edited ads checkbox so that you have to manually approve any edited ads. 
The pruning ads checkbox can be marked if you wish for expired listings to be automatically removed from your site. In the final section of this tab, add images, you can require at least one image upload per ad. This makes sure that each ad is visually appealing. You can specify a maximum amount of images per ad. This ensures that your site is not clogged with hundreds of images per ad and a max file size for each image. Once you've configured these things, ensure that you save the changes. Next, we'll take a look at ClassyPress email settings. So I'll click on emails, and this takes me to this page that has two different tabs. Under the general tab in emails is where you can specify when emails should be sent and if they should be sent to admin or the user. Ensure that the recipient address is correct, and if it isn't, click the change button. Mark the checkbox next to any of the emails that you wish to be sent to admin and the user. Ensure that you click the Save Changes button once complete. The New Users tab in the Email Settings is where you can customise the email that is sent to new users of your ClassyPress site. You can customise the name, the from email, the subject, and the entire body of the email. You can also use the following email tags. That brings me to the end of this tutorial on the basic setup needed for ClassyPress. In this tutorial, we covered how to customise the appearance of your site, ClassyPress settings and ClassyPress emails. You can find written documentation on everything covered in this video on our website.